Okay, so you've received your email confirming that Fritos Host has set up a club website domain name for you with a login and a password. So now you can go to your browser and for all of these demos I am using Firefox but the same holds true for using Chrome or Internet Explorer. Firefox, and I'm sure Chrome and IE does the same, it allows you to open up multiple tabs up on top here. So in one tab, we are going to enter in our club name, which is 999942, your club number, .toastmastersclubs.org. By default, all Toastmaster clubs domain names in Fritos Host is prefixed by your club number, so you'll get to know it quite well. But what I'm going to do here is just leave this as a reference so I can see what my home page and my club website looks like. But I'm going to open up a, sep a second tab and I'm also going to type in the web address of our website. But on this one I'm going to log in as the admin. Now this is what every initial Fritos Host Club website comes up looking like. This is the default. This is the same picture you'll see on all of them. This is the top heading. And on the left here, under Members Only, you will see Login as Site Admin. That's what you want because you are the Site Administrator. So as Site Administrator, you always log in by using your club number and then the password that was given to you in the email and you click login it'll say logging in ready now it'll come right back to the same home page except now you'll notice that under here it says launch admin console and right under that log out as site admin so that confirms that you are now logged in as site administrator and you have the option of logging out that's at the end when we're done this session. So click on Launch Admin Console and what pops up is a WYSIWYG type of menu. You don't need to enter any HTML here. You don't have to even know what it is. This is very intuitive, very easy and very quick because once you make any settings or additions here when you enter any text and after you hit Save it's all compiled in the background and if you go back to your reference tab here showing what your home page looks like you'll see the updates here in a matter of several seconds so this whole concept that Fritos Host uses is very intuitive it's very quick you can teach yourself because if you don't know what something's gonna look like just experiment make a change add some text uh, switch setting do a save then go back to your reference tab hit Control F5 for refresh or do a refresh here with this button to refresh the page which means read the most current content and you'll see what it looks like and if you like it you'll keep it if not you will either go back and undo it or go back and change it to something else so let's start with the very basic here now remember like I told you before I'm not gonna make you an expert I'm just going to give you the bare basics of how to get your club up on the internet and linked to the TI Find a Club database. So here by default is club name Toastmasters Club. You should always put your club name here because remember you want your club website to reflect your club your club your club culture you want to make this website unique to your club. So don't just leave it as Toastmasters Club. And of course, this one that I'm working on is the Best Speakers Toastmasters Club. Now I'm just going to do very quickly here a save just to show you how this works. Do a save. And I should stress always, always, always hit the save button here because Fritos host this admin WYSIWYG what you see is what you get does not save automatically so you always have to have hit save 
once in a while I get a member email me saying I make the changes but I don't see it reflected on my website well you always have to hit save eventually you'll be able to do this in your sleep so go back to your reference tab that shows your club homepage do a refresh by clicking on this refresh circle here and you will see that the top name now turns into best speakers Toastmasters Club piece of cake good so let's go back to the menu now the admin menu scroll down one or two lines and you'll see description this is a description as it describes underneath here is a part of your site's metadata that's what Google and any other search engine on the internet displays when somebody goes into Google search and does a search by entering let's say Toastmasters clubs my town and once your club website link comes up that description that you type here will be displayed so of course we're gonna describe our club as the best club you would ever want to join. Now if that doesn't get a raft of visitors wanting to come and visit your club, I don't know what will. Keywords. These are the keywords that again somebody that's going into Google search will enter to try and find a Toastmasters club in their area. So this you can you can change down the road uh, experiment but you should put at least two or three keywords in here so you should put something like Toastmasters space you can put perhaps public speaking space and something like leadership because that's what Toastmasters is known for, both speaking and leadership development. You don't have to hit save until you're done with this entire input block. Time zones. Now you got to remember Toastmasters is a worldwide organization and there are clubs all over the world so you will see every time zone covered here expressed as from the top down Africa America Antarctica Asia Europe Pacific you can find what time zone you're in by uh, going into Google and just entering what your location is and say time zone there's even Greenwich Mean Time GMT plus minus the number of hours from Greenwich Mean Time so you can set that there this is very very important and I see a lot of new clubs do not do this website alias by default when you apply for a club website at Fritos host it will always give you the initial domain name prefixed by your club number right up here in this case 9999422 dot now who's gonna remember that number to type in to find your website probably nobody the best thing to do here is put your club name which in my case here for this example is best speakers and I'll show you in a second what happens custom website domain there are some clubs that actually go to go daddy and they register a custom website domain and they enter that here in this case you do not need to worry about this so we're done hit the save and it'll pop up to the top with the message saying su success information updated close window if you just go to the other tab and do a refresh you will see your latest edits come up Now what you see is the number but for example if we clear that web address and we put best speakers dot toastmasters clubs dot org
I guess I hit a typo. Your new website will come up. There we go. Best Speakers Toastmasters Club. Now you see the web address. You don't have your club number in here anymore in your web address. Instead, it puts bestspeakers.toastmastersclubs.org, which is what you put here at the bottom under website alias. Alias being that's what this website domain name is now known with, is best speakers, your club name. So that makes this web address unique now to you, to your club. Now you don't have to enter those, those club number dot toastmastersclubs.org. You just enter bestspeakers.toastmastersclubs.org. Now simply if somebody for example in passing asks you what club are you a member of? Where can I find information about about your club? Where you meet? What time? You can just give them best speakers because that's what your club name is right here at the top. Best speakers. Just say bestspeakers.toastmastersclubs.org. But if you left it at a number you would imagine how hard it is to remember a number. You'd have to write it down. This is much, much easier. It makes this website unique to your club. Bestspeakers.toastmastersclubs.org So let's go back to the menu. And we are done with this menu. So we can scroll back up and go back to the Appearance tab. And you'll see that if you scroll down, there are a number of settings. These you really don't have to worry about at the moment. They are not that important. There's a bunch of color tabs here which gives different menus uh, their background color. Here's a listing of all the links that you find on the left hand side of your web page. They are all unchecked which means they are all displayed. Some clubs don't want to have certain tabs uh, listed so they remove them here just by checking them off. But again, you do not need to worry about this now. Again, whatever changes you make on this page before you leave, always make sure you hit save. Okay, home page. That's the next tab. This too is very important. You'll see here is a main heading, your custom heading here. Now, underneath a lot of these input blocks, you'll have a very short information block explaining what it is that you put in here, what it's about. Prefix with the letter I for information. Your main heading is the title of your opening section of your home page. This should describe the content in the next section, your home page content. Now remember that picture we see on our home page? Well this is where it's entered. This is by default and all this picture is is a JPEG. If you select it, it's a JPEG you can delete this. I would strongly suggest to make your website look unique to your club. Get a picture of your your members or your club in action or some action shots of a meeting in progress in your meeting location. Now of course remember for privacy sake ensure that if you're taking any pictures of your club meeting and your members faces are clearly visible please be sure to let everyone know that this is going to be going on your club website and if people do not want their picture to be visible it gives them a chance to opt out or at least or at least have a shot from the side of their face or from the back of their 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 head so they're not visible but always let members know so they have the option of deciding whether or not they want to be seen in your club website picture of course most will but again just a matter of privacy protecting our members privacy let them know so once you add a picture here you can also add a custom text describing what it is your meeting does what it focuses on for example where you meet what time location if there's any kind of special instructions on parking you could put that here something to make this website unique to your club and differentiates it from every other club that somebody might come across in the search bar. 
Homepage reference notes, this is just your reference notes. You can put, uh, for example, uh, again here it says these notes could contain reference information on widgets, flash, or other features. So if there's more than one person acting as admin, they will leave notes here that someone else can follow. Sort of a historical reference to changes made. You can scroll back and forth here and uh, come back to the top and you'll see next tab meeting info and directions. This of course is very very important because you want on your website a clear description of when and where your club meets, directions, especially parking. How do I park my car once I get there? So you want all this information to be in here. You can also add a Google map which is super. This is so so powerful. It saved our client club so much time. What you do in another tab, go to Google Maps, enter the location of your meeting area, and then you can copy from Google Maps the link, and in here's five steps to tell you how to do that. You, uh, you copy the iframe code from Google Maps and you paste it into here. And what that will do, it will put that exact same Google Map showing the location of your club meeting right into the front page. And again, it's a big time saver because rather than explaining in point form to someone on the phone or over the internet in an email how to get to your your club meeting location, you can just send them the link to your website and this is why it's important to have your club name up here as best speakers and tell them location is on the home page of our club website. Tells you where we meet, what time, and where you can park your vehicle, and then any other special instructions that you might have. As you can see, these uh, tab menus, they aren't that long. They're very focused. Uh, social links is next. Again, this isn't a must, but let's say if your club also has a presence on social media, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, some, all, or none, even Flickr, Google+, you can enter those locations here. Even Meetup is referenced. And here, there's login details telling you how to log in to your social media sites up above. Now, the rest of the tabs are floater messages, administrator info. You don't really need to worry about that just yet. For example, administrator info, this will just echo what you have entered into Free Toast Host. So let's say at the end of your Toastmaster year, your club executive changes over and somebody new wants to be the club website administrator, you can change their name and email address here. This administrator email, this is the email address so that Fritos host can get a hold of you if they, if they need to. For example, if you go to their support site and you fill in a request for support, that's how they know how to get back to you, how to contact you. And also, this is the place where you go and change the administrator password. So let's say if a new person from your club is going to be the website administrator, they might want their own password, of course. And uh, as a good rule of practice, you shouldn't give too many people administrator, administrator access to your club website. You should have maybe more than one or two people so that when people are away on holidays, uh, busy out of town on work, and something has to be added or changed on the website, someone else in the club could do it. But that's up to you to decide. And then, of course, website statistics. This, again, is not important for now. But if you want to track how well your website is being used, accessed on the Internet, how often you can even add your own Google Analytics script here. Again, don't worry about it. You do not have to have this. And the very last tab, if you're a little interested about reading up about the history of Fritos Host, how it evolved and got to where it is today, you can just scroll down and read here. 
it will also list the five people looks like six people five people who do the support site for free toast host they have a very good support team remember these are all volunteers they're toastmasters like you and me they have day jobs they have families they have hobbies so they do this support for free toast host out of their free time and they're great Brian has helped me many times and I'm truly appreciative of not only his time but all his support staff as well so again we can scroll up and that pretty well covers all the important stuff under the first pull down tab of website settings now the next thing I'm going to show you is membership management this is a list of all your club members and you should enter them here this is also a very powerful feature it enables you to use the online agenda creator which we use at our club many clubs that I visit and work with use it again why it's a big time saver it's nice because your members can log into the website here as members they do have to log in once they're entered here and they can pull up this week's or next week's or the agenda for a meeting four weeks from now where they plan to do a role or a speech or be Toastmaster and just by clicking on the block for that role in the agenda their name is put in so they don't even need to type once they log in but it all starts here by entering your club members by name space email address which is mandatory and then space phone number which is optional you don't need to put phone number but email yes because you can send email messages directly from the club website here to specific members or all members so for example we will enter my name here first and last name space and then email address Terry at tdktalks.com always hit save one or two seconds later the wheel stops spinning success information updated that's always your confirmation and it comes back and it's entered scroll down a little further down now you can assign an officer guest or a former member status to any member you pull down and there I am so select my name and then when you go to the select role tab you will see you can assign one of the seven club exec roles to that member whether it's president VP ed down 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 to sergeant at arms also immediate past president other officer let's say for example if clubs decide they want to have assistance members that shadow one of the seven club executives so that they can take over next year you can also assign just as a general member a former member and even guests so this is a very powerful tool again because whenever you have guests coming out to your club meeting you don't have to keep track of them elsewhere or keep notes or you just enter them here and just attach them as a role of guest down the road I'll show you how this works you can send an update email welcoming these guests back let's say in a few weeks you don't hear or see them come back and you want to make sure that you haven't forgotten about them you can send a custom email message from your club website just to your guests or even former members if let's say you have a membership drive where former members can rejoin the club at a discount rate or whatever or just a reminder if you're having a club club anniversary date a party and you want to invite all the former members back you can do that here also you have the option of uploading photos for your specific members again 
not necessary but it's a nice option for those who want their picture seen in the club roster also this other tab here new member welcome I love this part use it all the time it's a custom message that's written up in a template here of course you can see what it says you can go in and edit this although I don't think you really need to because everything said here is said well the bases are covered every time you have a new member join and you enter their name into the membership management tab here you want to send them a welcome message and CC the rest of the club so that members who weren't at the meeting that they had to miss will know that at that meeting Jane joined us or Paul or John the guy from last week you want to let them know and that's the custom message here it's very welcoming very powerful and then you do that by going here selecting the member this is of course after you've entered them up at the top as a member you select their name and when you hit save which you should when you hit save that message that you see right above here will be sent to them in an email within several minutes so when you hit save it'll just say success information updated you will know that that message welcome message has been sent to that new member and it'll put in into this field here hello member name the first and last name as you entered it into the membership management field here very powerful so now we can close the membership management tab just by hitting the X on top here or this close tab here of course it's in the pull down here membership management email and contact forms this is something you also should set up when you go to email settings free toast host has a variety of email features here you can control how some of these features work so recipient of replies to agenda notifications if somebody replies you want to select which person which club executive or which member in the club will get that message so you can select either VP of Ed VP Ed and Toastmaster for that meeting officers and Toastmasters are all members of course sometimes clubs don't want to spam all members over over details let's say of meetings coming up so you just want to send it to these people perhaps and here below it is recipient of replies to member email list again you can select sender or all members so probably just sender for now select recipient I forgot I should have said it I always set it to VP Ed and Toastmaster you sort of want a backup you don't want to have it going just to one person in case that one person isn't in today or they're late to work and the meeting has to go on so of course the Toastmaster of that meeting should always be there and here recipient of replies to officer email list emails again you can select whether it's sender or all officers and sender probably best to include all officers all seven club execs hit save and then it'll come back to the main menu so you have to go back again into email and contact forms I just wanted to show you this contact forms tab contacts this is very very important because if you go to your club website you'll see on the left hand side here you will see contact us of course it's grayed out because we don't have anyone set up yet when somebody finds your club website they'll want to contact you to say hi this is Bob I'm interested in coming down tomorrow is it okay of course it's okay they will contact you through this button hot link here now it's grayed out because we haven't set anyone up here yet so so club contacts select member it'll be me because I'm all, the only one that's entered but don't forget if you have 20 members entered all 20 people will show up here this member will accept prospect phone calls okay so that means they can call them or if not unchecked then that means it's only through email 
you should maybe have a secondary person as well even though I'm listed again because I'm the only one here you should have a secondary person I'll just put myself down again just to show you how that works and you can have up to three three people that will show up under the contact list so for example if the guest sees the first person there in the list emails them or calls them there's no answer because they're out of town they're on holidays or whatever then they can go to the second person now oh, I just have to hit a refresh here so that this will come up of course I didn't do a save that's why it's not coming up so always hit a save right always hit a save and then go back to this reference tab here and do a refresh and you will see that contact us now is visible see that's because we just filled it in so let's say somebody hits contact us what will pop up is my name twice because I entered my name in the two different fields so this contact us button means the visitor can put their name here their email address their telephone number and their message to you and when they hit submit it will go to the one two or three people that you selected in your club to get this information now sometimes it is the club executive sometimes it could be just another member who isn't a club executive but is delegated to answer prospective calls from guests wanting to know more information like what's Toastmasters about where do you guys meet can I come so it's up to the club to decide how they want to do that. And of course here for new members, if new members join and they want to request a member, then you can select here which person in the club will answer these requests. Which member? Again, it does not have to be limited to the seven club executives because they have enough to do it could be another member in a club who is willing to act as the mentor go-between always hit save and when you hit save in this case because this is a menu underneath the base menus here you'll always have to go back and select it I think that's enough for now we've covered a lot of ground remember at any time when you're watching this video you can pause it just to work it through to catch up I've tried to go as slow as I can so that you can follow me but if it's still too fast and you need to go through a second or third time to double check always hit the pause of the video replay and once you've caught up you can just continue watching the video forward now in the next video I will follow up with these other settings custom web pages file manager meeting agenda settings dues management but again as I said at the beginning my whole purpose is not to make you an expert at Freetails host this is just to get your club website up on the internet and found so that if somebody goes to the Toastmaster International website uses the find a club utility and they're looking for a club that meets in your town your city your province or state or country on a Wednesday at noon or evening or from Monday to Friday it will show a list which will include your club then if they click on your club domain name which is here bestspeakers.toastmastersclubs.org they will come to your website here until next time, stay tuned and looking forward to seeing you join me on my follow-up video right after this. Thanks.
So in your web browser, type in the web address for Toastmasters International, which is toastmasters.org. Up here on their homepage, you go to login because this is assuming you are the club executive for your club. Login. Club Central pops up underneath the logout button so it confirms that uh, you are logged in. Click on Club Central and up pops the name of the club that you are an executive of. Usually just one but there are members with several. Pick the club whose website you were just working on. In this case I'm going to use as an example the club that I'm an executive of, Shaw Masters, because I'll look after their free to source website. And I'm only interested in this one line item here, third from the top, update my club meeting information. So click on that. And in there, I'm only interested in, in these two here at the top, the third and fourth line items from the top, contact email and website. Contact email, Every free Toast Host Club in the world has the same contact email address except for this number here, which is their club number. Contact dash club number at toastmastersclubs.org. That address is the address that is used when somebody finds a club they're interested in here using this find a club button at the top left which we'll go through right after this when they click on the contact button of that club info that's the email address that's used so make sure that that is correct contact dash club number at toastmastersclub.org and right under it also very important the website address that you just changed in your free toast host admin setup make sure it's identical here website now by default when free toast host sends you your confirmation that your admin login has been created with the password by default they put in your club number dot toastmastersclubs dot org that's by default but you really shouldn't leave it at that because it's very hard for anyone to remember what your club number is in fact a lot of members don't because there's no reason for them to remember what the club number is so I highly recommend change it from the number to the name of your club and in my case here it's shawmasters.toastmastersclubs.org make sure it matches whatever you select in your free toast host admin website settings this is very important and also when you're done editing go to the bottom and you hit update that'll save all the information that you've just entered now I'm not going to do it because I didn't change anything here of course all the other items make sure they are current and up-to-date I know our district has an initiative twice a year where they encourage all clubs to make sure this information is up-to-date correct and current because it's very important that the database contain all accurate information so that people that want to come out and visit your club or even join they have all the correct information so I'm going to log out of Club Central now and I'm going to use this find the club utility which is what any person that's interested in finding a club near their work or where they live will use they'll click on find and up pops this find meeting locations where you select the country because we are worldwide in my case it's Canada and in a few seconds the second item line item pops up which breaks it down further into province which for me here is Alberta and in a few seconds every club in Alberta pops up and of course you can drill down even further into city which in my case is Calgary 
and up pops every club in Calgary. Now, I'm looking for Shaw Masters. They're listed in order with numbered clubs first, and then A to Z alphabetically, because Shaw Masters is S. It's on the second page, I know, and it's about halfway down, and it is right here in the middle. I'll put it in the middle of the screen so that it's easy to find. So the two line items we just talked about in the Club Central database, they are here. That contact dash club number at toastmastersclubs.org, this is what this link goes to. Click here to email club. That will send an email directly to your club website. And your club website that I spoke about in the earlier video, it has up to three people's names that that email will go to. If somebody clicks on this here to get more information, whoever you select in your club to receive emails, and it could be up to three people, will we'll get this request. And right under it, here is the hot link that will take visitors right to your Fritos Host Club website. By default, again, Fritos Host will assign a domain name of your club number, .toastmastersclubs.org. Just like right below it here, you'll see Shell Club. They didn't change from their default number. Maybe they don't know, I'll have to contact them. Ideally, they should put shellclub.toastmastersclubs.org because that is what their club name is right here, Shell Club. So why not make the club name and their club website domain name match. Much easier to remember for people. Now that's what you want. You want guests or potential members to easily remember your website. And that's it. This is the one, one of many things I like about Free Toast Host, how nicely it links to the Find a Club database up at Toastmasters International. Uh, that's the power of your Fritos Host website. It's instant linking. So that's it. That's all there is to it.